So what we want to do is configure Azure Synapse to use Azure Log Analytics so that we can begin sending messages. We're dedicating a full video to this because it is kind of a complicated process. You have to follow these six steps and you have to collect some information along the way. So we're gonna go one step at a time and we're gonna write down the things we need and then I'm gonna show you how to configure a Spark cluster so that you can finally get messages going over to Azure Log Analytics. Okay, so the first thing you need is your Azure Log Analytics Workspace ID. So um, I've created an Azure Log Analytics Workspace called Data Platform LA and the Workspace ID is right here on the overview page. You just copy this and then you record it somewhere. So I'm just gonna record it right here on my Miro board that I've been using to present. Okay, now you need to get the Azure Log Analytics key. So right here, you can come over here and um, you know, I'm not gonna show you my key because we're in a video, but trust me, there's a key here that we, that we want to collect. And then once we grab the key, um, we're going to save it in Azure Key Vault. So we create an Azure Key Vault. In my case, I created one called Data Platform Key Vault Ike. Okay. And then underneath the keys, do, 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 oh, secrets, pardon me. Underneath secrets, I created one called Log Analytics Secrets Key, and it has a value, right? So the, um, this is the Log Analytics Secrets Key. And there's the value, the value sorted right there. This is my Azure Log Analytics secret key right here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is grab that name, do, 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 and I'm gonna save it right there in the mirror board. So here's the secret name, okay? Now the Azure Key Vault name, if I come back here, that was Data Platform Key Vault Ike. So I'm gonna grab that Azure Key Vault name, and I'm gonna put it there and then the akv link service name i'm going to show you what that is in just a second okay so step one find the azure log analytics workspace name check okay then we save the access key into azure key vault check okay now let's create an azure key vault link service so what we're doing is we're connecting synapse with azure key vault so that it can retrieve the azure log analytics key and gain access to it all right so what we're going to do is go into um azure well a couple of things we need to do um, what we're going to do, we're going to create the link service and we're going to grant access to Azure Key Vault from Azure Synapse all together. So we're going to do three and four right now. So first, let's go to Azure Key Vault. Okay. In Azure Key Vault, um, let's go to the main page. Okay. There is something called access policies. And access policies can either be application-based or user-based. We're going to create an application-based access policy, which is effectively telling Azure Key Vault that this other Azure service can use it. So just to walk you through, I've already done it. This, this one called Synapse DF is already created, but just to walk you through what I did, you add the access policy. You can specify it from a, a template if you want, right? Um, you could say key and secret management. Now, it strikes me that this is too, many, no, too much permissions, right? We probably don't need create, we probably don't need import or delete or recover, backup and restore, but get, list, and update are probably okay, right? Okay, now, um, oh, I accidentally hit select 20, but you guys get the idea because I'm not gonna really do it here. Okay, the next thing that's important is you say um, select principle, and it says what type of principle do you want? And you can say, I wanna use Synapse. And there's Synapse DF. So remember, my Synapse workspace is called Synapse DF. So it found my Synapse workspace for me already. And then you could just click select. And now you click add and it's added. Now, don't worry about that. Yeah, we're not gonna save that because I've already created it. Synapse DF is right here. What that allows me to do is go back to my Miro board it allows me to create the Azure Key Vault link service in Azure Synapse. So if I go to Azure Synapse, and uh, this is under Managed, doo -doo -doo, and under Link Services right here, you click Link Services, you can see that I already have the Data Platform Key Vault here under Link Services. But if I didn't, I would click New, and then a really easy form comes up, and it says, please name the link service. In my case, it's Data Platform Key Vault. And then, um, uh, which key vault do you want? You need the base URL. How do you find that base URL? Well, you go to the main page of the, the overview page right here, and there's the vault URI, 
So you put that vault URI right there, okay? And then it says, what's the authentication method? And you say, system assigned managed identity. That's the managed identity under the access method that I just created in Azure Key Vault. That is, just to show you that one more time, under my access policies, that's that, right? So you choose that. Now, it tells you, grant workspace service managed identity access to your Azure Key Vault. Yes, we already did that, okay. so. Now we can test the connection, test the connection, and it works. And then you click save and it saves. Okay, so if we go back to the Miro board, the, I, the AKV link service name in Synapse is that data platform key vault. Remember, that's what that is, data platform key vault right there. So I save that off. So now I've got these four pieces of information. And now what I need to do is configure the Spark clusters to use both Azure Key Vault and Azure Log Analytics. So the way I do that is underneath that managed, I click my Apache Spark pools. I click here. And um, now what I can do is I can go to Apache Spark configuration. Now Apache Spark configuration allows you to upload a file. I named this file synapse spark.txt and I uploaded it. That's all I did is I just uploaded it. Let me show you what that file looks like. It's got five lines. It says first enable log analytics to true. Um, and second, um, what's your workspace ID, right? That's my workspace ID. Okay. Third, what's the key vault name? Data platform key vault Ike, data platform key vault Ike. Um, then uh, the fourth line is uh, the link service name is data platform key vault. So that's the, so I don't know why they need the key vault name and the link service name. To me, that strikes me as repetitive. But for whatever reason, you need both. It, it doesn't seem like that makes sense, but you do. And then finally, what's this key vault secret name for log analytics? And so you're right, log analytics key vault key secret, log analytics secret key, right? That's that thing that I saved here, that name of the secret that I saved there, okay. And once you have that uploaded, then um, you restart the clusters. So um, just go ahead and restart them. And then uh, usually the way I restart them, by the way, is uh, I change something about the configuration. I know that sounds a little silly, but um, sometimes I, you know, uh, what do I do typically? Do, 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 do. Um, scale settings. Yeah, I come in here and I, I go from a large to a medium or I go from three nodes to two nodes or five nodes or whatever I do. But I change something about this configuration and that will automatically restart it. I wish there was like a restart button, but I've never seen a restart button. So I don't know how to restart it any other way. Okay. So now that we've configured the Spark cluster to use AKV and Azure Log Analytics, and now that we've restarted the cluster, the last step is to use the Log4j interface and send messages to Log Analytics. And what that looks like is if you go back to your Synapse workspace and you click on develop, um, you, you go into your notebook and I'll just show you what it looks like. Okay, you, you, this is me calling, creating a variable and I'm using the Spark context, jvm.org apache.log4j. So I'm capturing that in Spark log4j. And then I'm building a logger. And in this case, I'm calling that logger Synapse Data Platform. And I'm calling that logger. And then I use logger.info to send an info message and logger. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Logger.error to send an error message. So now those messages begin going to Log Analytics. If I switch back over to Log Analytics, don't worry too much about this query. I'm going to explain this query in a later video. But you can see that I can run my Spark jobs and then they will report errors into Log Analytics and I can query it and I can pull this out. Like I said, I'll show you how this works a little bit later. But for now, just know that it's working, that my Synapse Spark um, clusters are capable of sending messages when we use those that error message to show you again when you use um, uh, do, 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 do. when you use logger.info or logger.error you could send any string you want here this is just a string and that string is going to go to Azure Log Analytics and now you can query log, log, Azure Log Analytics and get the information out of it and that's it that's how you configure Synapse Spark pools to use your Azure Log Analytics. I hope that really helps you. Um, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Thanks. Have a great day.